Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix the WSOP poker app not working issue on iOS or iPhone devices. So basically I have the, the WSOP app on the bottom left of my home screen here. If I type and I click into the app, it's still loading right here. And let's just say that the app wasn't working. What you could do is since it's now currently open and running on this device but it's not working, you can press and hold and swipe up from the bottom of your screen and that will show you all of the different apps that are currently open on your device and then from there you can hold and swipe up on the particular app and that will actually close the app so that you can go back in and reboot it and essentially hope that that fixes the problem. Next up what you need to do is check that you have a good internet connection and we can do that by going to the settings. I have mine at the top of my home screen and then make sure you've got a good internet connection by going to Wi-Fi. Um, I've got full bars of Wi-Fi here connected to my home Wi-Fi, the EE Wi-Fi or make sure you're connected to a hotspot or even the mobile data section. Make sure that mobile data is turned on and that roaming is turned on because some applications need internet to actually work. From there guys, if the app is still not working, you need to go to the app store and make sure that you're currently running the latest version of the app. So I'm gonna back out of here, go to the app store, this blue button, and then from there in the bottom right, go to the search page and then press up at the top and start typing in WSOP poker, press search, and then go down to the first organic listing right here, the WSOP Poker app. And there's a button on the right hand side that says the word open in blue text. That basically means that we are currently running the latest version, the latest software of this app. But if your button just says the word update instead, that means that you're not running the latest version and you have to press the update button. It will then download the latest update and uh, reinstall the app so that you can start using and hopefully fix all of the glitches and bugs from not running the latest version of the application. However, if things are still not working, what we need to do is go to the settings again and clear the cache. So you go down, down to general, scroll down to iPhone storage, and then scroll down and find the WSOP poker app. It's quite near the top for me. So press into WSOP. And then there's a button with blue text that says offload app, press that. And then you have to confirm by pressing offload app at the bottom. And that will clear all the cache from the application. Then you want to press reinstall app and that will re-download the app on this device. And so there we go. The app has re-downloaded on this device. But if things are still not working, what you can do is completely delete the app and start again. So you can do that pretty easily from within this page right here. There's the delete app button in red text. Press that. Confirm by pressing delete app at the bottom. That will completely remove the WSOP app from your device. And what you need to do is go back to the app store and type in WSOP poker again, although I have it right here at the top. And now there is a button on the right hand side that looks like a cloud icon with a downwards pointing arrow. That just means that we've downloaded this app on our App Store device or App Store account in the past. So you want to press that and then that will start downloading the app again onto the device. However, guys, if all of these solutions do not resolve your issue and you're still having difficulties, please contact the WSOP help desk by either going onto their website, trying to find an email, a phone number, or even a live chat option and walk them through all of the problems that you are experiencing. And if that completely fails and you're still having difficulties, please comment down below on this video with exactly what you're running into, your difficulties, and I will get back in contact with you and try and help you resolve the issue myself. So Anyway, guys, this has been another video for the My Tech Mastery YouTube channel. If it's been helpful, please like and subscribe. And if you do have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Thank you.